Hello, hello everyone, this is Rack from Rack Plays, and today we are doing my first ever official video, which is unboxing the Marvel Legends Captain Marvel Build-A-Figure, that's based off of the actual movie coming out in March this year. These are available for pre-order, but it's a funny story how I got them. I found them on a shelf at Target last Saturday. I, I, I told them to register to buy them, but they would not sell them to me because these were supposed to be on sale on January 1st. But they would put them on hold for me. I went back to Target on New Year's Day to pick them up, but, but apparently they, lo they, they lost them and they don't know what happened to them. But, uh, but however, I did find them on the shelf again, and I was able to buy them. Thanks for nothing, Target. Before we start unboxing, let's do a brief overview of Miss now Captain Marvel. She first appeared in Marvel Superheroes issue 13 in March 1968. She is head of security at a military base where she meets alien Kree soldier Marvel. Through her contact with the Kree, she develops superpowers. In January 1977, the first issue of her own comic, Miss Marvel, was released. It ran for 23 issues. Through the 80s and 90s, she appeared in other comics including The Avengers and The X-Men. In 2006, she appeared again in her own series that ran for 50 issues. In 2012, her name was officially changed from Miss, from Miss Marvel to Captain Marvel. But before we unbox any of these figures, I want to mention that Marvel Legends made two other Miss Marvel fi Captain Marvel figures. First of all, this one which is her in her original costume, that, came, that was in a three-pack of her, Captain America, and Radioactive Man. And, and then they made another one in her Kree costume for the Odin Build-A-Figure series. But before we unbox these characters, let's just re read the description on their packaging. Uh, Carol Danvers becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes, Captain Marvel, when Earth is caught in the middle of a galactic war between two alien races. Here's Captain Marvel holding her cat, not her uniform. Captain Marvel, accompanied by her furry sidekick Goose, Captain Marvel suits up to defend the universe from intergalactic threats. Here's Nick Fury. In the years following the Cold War, Nick Fury wrestles with his sense of purpose within S.H.I.E.L.D. When Nick crosses paths with Captain Marvel, they become Earth's only hope of stopping a Skrull invasion. Here's Janice Bell. Born of a Titanian e Eternal, Janice Bell possesses indomitable strength and uses powerful Nega bands to channel incredible energy blasts. <coughs> Here's Yon Rog. Leader of the Star Force team, Beyond Rock is a hero among the Kree and a key asset to the supreme intelligence in the war against the Skrulls. Here's Talos. Talos, perhaps the most cutting spy in all, all the Skrull, Skrull Empire, is a master of shapeshifting and intergalactic espionage. An integral leader in the Bear Kree Skrull War, a fearsome Talos will do whatever it takes to protect his own. And finally, here is Grey Gargoyle, which has nothing to do with Captain Marvel, but he's in the Bill Figure set, so we're going to read his description too. Dr. Paul Duval discovers his ability to turn his body to stone and, become, and becomes the transmuting mercenary Grey Gargoyle. Okay, so he's just finished unboxing all the figures. So here's the first one we're going to show you Captain Marvel, in her Kree uniform. She looks, like she, she looks pretty awesome in this form. Um, she doesn't come with any pieces of the Build-A-Figure, but I still recommend you get her anyway if you want to have the full set and have her in her costume. She can stand, she has really good articulation, and nothing's loose either. She's, she's a perfect figure to have. Oh, uh, here's the second figure we're going to show you. Now this is Captain Marvel as like a civilian with her pet cat. And also the cat does come off, but as you can see, it's tied down. When which if you want to keep her, if you, if you want to keep the cat in her arms, I recommend you keep that there. Now she's basically like the same thing because she has good articulation. 
And, uh, I also like the paint job, especially like on the back, you can sort of see like a logo so of something. Also, by the way, this this character, unlike the other one, has an extra head and extra set of hands in case you want to like switch it. Other than that, though, she's basically like the same type of Captain Marvel because if you can see, you can clearly see the same type of suit. So, that's what I wanted to say. So, and you need to collect this for the Builder figure too. So yeah, that's it. Here's the third figure I want to show you. It's Nick Fury. Now, I like him, because he... I like him, cause mostly because he has good articulation. He actually comes with this gun, as you can clearly see. And he actually doesn't come with much, but he does come with something else. Oh yeah, also, I just realized something. You know how he has his eye patch? In this one, he actually doesn't. So, I guess this is before something bad happens to his eye. And how he does come with one piece, I think, is kind of weird. This is the cat from the other figure, but for some reason it's all chained up, and for, I don't know what reason, like it's a prisoner almost. I have no idea why it's chained up, I have no idea what this is, and but I guess it's sort of a cool, a cool thing to have, and that's all I wanted to say for, for him, Dick Fury. Oh, right. Here's the fourth character I wanted to show you. This this one is called Jezvel, who's apparently supposed to be the original Captain Marvel. Yeah, I actually think he has like a really cool design. Like he has a some kind of golden gun. Um, he has these little bracelets or something. They're also golden. Here's a little slot for where his gun to go. I really like his design too. Um, I like how like his body looks like sort of like stars, like sort of a galaxy. Plus with his cool green armor, he's like he looks like some kind of super soldier. Or, and I like his all out paint job and design. He he he, he can really stand well. Well, he gets feet all right, and also um, I think he I think he moves really well. He moves also really well. I definitely rec I, I definitely say this is a great figure to have. And also once again, you know, you need him for the build a figure. That's all I wanted to say about this guy. Here's the fifth character I wanted to show you guys. This one's called Yon Rog. I think he's supposed to be the main villain of the film, but we we'll, we won't know until we see it. So um, uh, this guy I really like too. I like how he uh, he has like a lot of good armor on. Like he has a lot of green armor, like the last character. He has like black and green armor. It looks like a, a soldier ready for battle. I definitely say we should get this. You should get this guy. Also, this one. Stands really well. Like you probably could put him in a whole bunch of different positions and move, and make a move. He has good joints and paint color. And yeah, I really like this. Guy. He also, I really, I really like this guy. He also comes with a cool looking type of gun, as you can clearly see. He actually has no spot to put the gun uh, on him, so you might just have to make him hold it. But I like, the, I like to, I like to make them hold weapon. Uh, this is Talos, the sixth person I wanted to show you. He's a scroll spy that is a shape changer. As he can change his shape to anything he wants. Now, this guy, um, he doesn't have like, I don't think he looks as good as the other one, the last one I showed you, but, you know, he, he looks really cool. I like how he looks like, you know, like a green alien, sort of. Uh, and like his really dark clothes. Uh, um, like he's sort of like, a, like, you know, he really can go into hiding and stuff because he's a spy. And yeah, there's not much I actually really wanted to say for this, but other than one more thing, actually, he also has you know, once again great joints, so he can move him, so he can move around a lot of good. That's actually all I wanted to say about him. Here's the seventh and final character I wanted to show you of the series. This is the Grey Gargoyle. Now he has no relationship to Captain Marvel at all, but he is a Thor villain, and if he touches you, you turn to stone. Um, I don't know why they decided to put him in the set, uh, but they just decided. So, I don't think he'll, I don't think he'll be in the movie or anything like the other characters. But you know, he still really is a cool character to have. Uh, um, I really like you know, his coloring; like he's actually sort of like stone. Um, and you like he looks, he looks like a little scary. I guess his face, God, his face looks a little, looks a little scary. I also like his cape and his like little blue hands and feet. Uh, and you also have to buy this guy um, to, in order to make the build the, the file build a figure, which I'll show you after this. And finally, here's the big the the build a figure itself. This is the Cree Century, and he he's actually was a 
He first appeared in the Fantastic Four issue number 64 comic in the 1960s. Yeah, but I guess he's going to be in the new Captain Marvel movie. I really like the, I really like this guy. I think it's I think like his arm here can fall off a little easily, but other than that, he's a really cool character. I, I really like this guy's design, like his actual robot. He sort of reminds me of the X Men Sentinels, and I it, I think he's, he's actually a villain that's going to be in the movie. So I wonder how how strong he is. But um, I really like this guy. He actually has a really good design, and yeah, this is what. This is the figure you're gonna you're gonna get in the end if you put them all together after you find them all. That and that's it. So and that's it for today's video. I hope you all liked it. Thank you for watching. Uh, uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the, and hit the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. Uh, thank you all. And I'll see you on the next video.